Hi, in this video I'm demonstrating my new layout for TouchOSC, which is a dedicated touchscreen effects controller for Tractor Pro. It allows you to have full control over each of Tractor's four effects units and gives you various ways of controlling their effects, either by a fader, a 3x3 button grid or an XY pad. So here we are in Tractor and I'm using the desktop TouchOSC app just to make screen recording a bit easier but obviously this works on a touchscreen too and there are instructions on my website about how to set all of this up. So to begin you can use the four tabs at the top of the screen here to switch between each of the four effect units. Here you can choose whether you want the effect unit to be in single or in group mode in single mode you have just one effect with multiple controls and in group mode you have three different effects but each with just one control. The save snapshot button will store your current effect settings. This is particularly useful when in single mode where you may want to have each of the various parameters set in a particular way. For example here in effects unit 1 I'm using a single delay effect with the filter, the feedback and the rate set to just how I like them for a typical fade to grey effect uh, such as this. So because this snapshot has already been saved, if we switch to group and then back again to single, you'll notice that these parameters are set the way I left them. The green buttons here allow you to route any of the four decks through the currently selected effects unit. And you'll notice in Tractor that each of the corresponding buttons will also light up when these are enabled. So here we have decks A, B, C and D all routed through FX unit 1. Let's switch that back to just deck A again. The arrow buttons here let you scroll through each of the tractor's effects. In single mode, you choose just the one effect from here. In group mode, you have selection arrows for each of the three effects. The name of your chosen effect will be displayed just above the selection arrows here. You'll notice too that if you change the effect in Tractor, then the layout will automatically update. Next you have controls for the dry wet amount, as well as standard faders, which work just like the effect amounts in Tractor. And again, controls here are bi-directional. Next are the buttons. These will turn on your chosen effect. So when in group mode, each of the buttons here will turn on the corresponding effect. About the money. In single mode, there's just the one unit on button here to turn the effect on. So these other two buttons control the single effects on off parameters. So here we have a setting for feedback, which we can turn on or off. And there's a setting for rate, which you can turn on or off as well. And then you have the reset button which will always set the effects back to whatever they were. So, say if we change them here, reset will revert back to the snapshot that had been saved. So any of the buttons can be set to have either a toggle or a hold behavior. So if we have it set on toggle, press the button once the effect will stay on until you press the button again. With hold, the effect will only stay on for the length of time that you have the button held down. Finally, um, for each effects unit, in FX slot 1, 
you can choose whether to have a normal slider or a 3x3 grid. I'm going to switch over to FX Unit 2 here where I've got my beat masher effect loaded. And in slots 2 and 3 you can switch between standard faders or an XY pad which will control both of the faders at once. So the pads here work particularly well for effects like the beat masher and beat slicer. And what happens is when you press these buttons here, you'll notice that it moves up in slight increments. There's the effect a mount slider. And it will also turn the effect on. Here I'm using hold. So it's only going to turn on for the length of time that I hold the button down. But yeah, this works quite well with beat masher. And now looking at the XY pad, you'll notice what the um, effect amount sliders are doing here when I move this around. And this is particularly good for controlling two different effects but with just one finger. Not about the money. That's how it works in the group mode. In single mode it's exactly the same, except you just have control here for the XY pad. We don't have the 3x3 pad grid. So that's how it all works. Um, if you have any feedback or feature requests, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I did make the device originally because I use um, control vinyl and a standard mixer, uh, meaning I've no way really of controlling tractor's effects very easily. Um, I did use my original jog on layout for effects controls, but I found the buttons are a little too small for this. Um, so really I just wanted something with nice big controls uh, for each effects unit. Um, so the layout's been designed primarily to suit my own personal workflow, and yours may well be different. Um, so if there are any features you think are missing or you'd like to see, please do let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.